Motion VFX has completely redesigned VM Installer. It runs much faster, looks slick, has a much more friendly interface, and has some exciting new features which will save you time so you can get in, do what you need to do, and then get on with your editing. The free download is available from motionvfx.com. Navigate to the top right of the page, click on the search tool, enter mInstaller, and click on the name which will appear below. Click Get for Mac to begin the download. Either in your Downloads folder or in the download window of your web browser, open the DMG file, and when the window appears, drag the M installer into the Applications folder. To find the M installer version 2, just come down to Launchpad, come across to the M installer, click on it. You will be presented with the login screen. If you do not already have an account with Motion VFX, click here to create one. The information you enter to log in on our website is the same information entered for the M installer. With that in mind, firstly, enter your email address, followed by your password. Click Login, review the software license agreement, and click Accept to continue. Now you will be greeted by the M installer's all new interface, which you can reposition to anywhere on your screen. By double clicking on the top bar, the window will maximize to fill up the entire screen. To reduce the size back down, click on the green button in the top left corner and the window will return to how it was. You are now able to manually resize by grabbing the corners or from the edges, adjust the height and the width. If you come down and click on your email address, you will see the options to sign out from the M installer and also to close the M installer app. We've also made it for your convenience that you can use the traditional quitting shortcut of Command Q at any time. By coming down to the plugins option, you can find all of your titles, transitions, effects. Underneath the templates option, you'll find all of your project templates. Under the compositing elements tab, you will find all of the elements such as M smokes, M blast, M fire, and other overlay elements you have purchased from the Motion VFX store. At the top of the interface, you can see there is a new banner which displays products. But let's navigate back to the social media icons pack and let's make a purchase. Simply clicking on the icon will take us to the website. And there it is, get it free. Here in the cart, firstly accept the conditions, continue to payment. And now we are able to reopen back in the M installer. And here it is. So simply hit the install button and the M Tracker 3D social media icons pack will be installed onto your Final Cut Pro. Thanks to the notification up in the top right corner, I can see the installation is completed. So let's get into Final Cut Pro. And here in Final Cut Pro, under the M Tracker 3D expansions, if I scroll down, Near the bottom, I can find my social media icons pack ready for use. On Final Cut Pro, in the sidebar, this time in the generators, in the Motion VFX folder, you will find all of your template projects. Should you find a plugin missing media, missing titles, or perhaps you've opened it in Motion and made some changes, and you require a factory reset, Enter the name of the plugin that needs attention. Next, come down to where it says Install, click there, and you will find an option, Reinstall Repair. Click on that. Going back to the subject of the licenses, should you need to uninstall because, for example, you may be updating to a new machine, that task can be done by clicking the Reset button under the Action heading. Keep in mind, if you no longer have access to an old machine which has your plugin still installed on it, you are able to remove that license by hitting the reset button once you identify the machine you want it removed from. Located just above the licenses on each of our plugins is the help menu. 
The second menu item is the FAQ. This will take you to a page on our website with a search pointed at the particular plugin you are requiring assistance with. The third and final menu item here is the Help Support option, which will open an email window for you to contact our help desk. The FAQ is also available at any time in the bottom left corner of the main front page. Below the FAQ are the settings or preferences for the app. By default, the frame rate is set at 24 frames per second, but you have options here to change your default. If you have already used up both of your licenses on two separate machines and you wish to migrate to a new machine, because for example, you may be switching to an all new M1 system, rather than individually uninstalling one by one. In this scenario, it would make good sense to unregister all of your plugins with one click. We're going to have a look at the compositing elements for M Smokes here, and we'll download a couple of the products which are in there. To locate them, we could individually go through and choose Reveal in Finder. However, it's much faster to go down to Settings, come across to Download Directory, and choose Browse. In here, we can find the elements that we've downloaded in each folder. If you wish to not have the M installer running on your startup, simply uncheck the option by clicking the blue tick. The same applies to choosing to hide the option upon closing the M installer. Disk permission is to be used if you are unable to install a product. It will repair the access to the folders and the files. Next is fonts. Run this process to resolve duplicate fonts and other font related issues. Plugin integrity. Running this process will verify the correctness of the files required to install the plugins. Use M installer preferences if you are suffering crashing or freezing within the M installer. This will reset the app. So there you have it, the all new M installer. I've been Jason from the Motion VFX Help Desk. And if you're not subscribed to our channel already, hit that button for more creative possibilities.